Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Warner, SAT Math Guru and Associate Professor of Mathematics. I've been tutoring SAT Math for the last 12 years and have helped over a thousand students with their performance, many getting a perfect 800 or near perfect score. Many of my really strong students that want to get an 800 in math ask me the following question. Dr. Steve, how can I stop getting those questions wrong that appear at the very end of each math section? If you're a student currently scoring between a 650 and a 750 in SAT math, and you want to get the best possible score, then this is probably one of your main concerns. Strong math students tend to fall into the trap of doing these last few math questions the same way that they would do them in school. If you are solving a more difficult problem this way, very often you will get tricked. Then, when you look over your answer, the mistake seems obvious, and you just assume it's a careless error. Therefore, you don't think about how the problem could have been done differently. Unfortunately, this will keep happening over and over because those last few problems in the section are unique and you will never see that particular problem again on an SAT. This is why it is very important to begin to practice solving these problems using SAT-specific math strategies, such as the ones found in my book, The 32 Most Effective SAT Math Strategies. I want to emphasize that it is not enough to simply know these strategies. You must practice implementing them at the right times. As a very simple example, if question number 20 has variables in the answer choices, do not try to solve this problem using algebra. Use strategy 4 from my book instead. This particular strategy is very basic and involves substituting in specific numbers for the variables before solving the problem. As an example, let's look at problem number 28 from my book. There are B bricks that need to be stacked. After K of them have been stacked, then in terms of B and K, what percent of the bricks have not yet been stacked? This is a level 5 problem, and to solve this algebraically is a bit tricky. So let's use strategy 4 instead. Since this is a percent problem, let's assume that there are 100 bricks and that 25 have been stacked. Then 75 have not been stacked. Substituting into each answer choice and using our calculator, we get the following. Since A, C, D, and E came out incorrect, the answer is choice B. You are much more likely to get this problem right using this method. Most students that do this algebraically will get the answer wrong. For an example of one of my more advanced strategies at work, see my video titled Simple Operation. In this video, I give a complete solution of another level 5 SAT math problem, this time using strategy 16 from my book. Let me just clarify one thing. I am not saying to use the strategies from my book on every single question, but you should be using these strategies on the types of questions that are keeping your score from improving and stopping you from getting an 800. There are many places to find some of these strategies. But if you want to have all of them at once, with plenty of problems to practice with, go to my website and check out the 32 Most Effective SAT Math Strategies. You can download three chapters for free to start you off. And while you're there, go ahead and download the Advanced Problem Set. This is free as well. For more information on how you can get an 800 in SAT Math, or to have specific questions answered by me personally, please click on the link below.